As the United States grapples with racism now and in the past, we've heard calls for some statues to come down and names of schools to be changed, usually in the South. But as CBS 2's Marissa Power reports, there's now such a call in North Suburban Kenilworth. Nestled in Kenilworth Village, complete with manicured lawns and pristine American flags, is the Joseph Sears School, the area's newest brewing controversy. People don't know who Joseph Sears was and what he actually wanted to do. If they really taught that in this school building, I can guarantee you someone would have started this petition a long time ago. A petition to remove the Sears name from the school. Tucked away in an affluent neighborhood that's over 90% white. I'm sure it's a lovely place to grow up and everybody here is really polite. But the history of the village itself is why Solomon Podorowski and Jack Yonover are petitioning for change. Kenilworth really kind of stands out as the town that limited sales to, uh, whether it be Jewish people or black people, they wouldn't sell to them. We did some more research. We actually found that Joseph Sears, the guy the, that this school is named after, was the guy who put that into place. Citing historical documents and journals, the two said they learned that upon founding Kenilworth over 120 years ago, Sears had four visions per this quote, large lots, high standards of construction, no alleys, and sales to Caucasians only. The teens who just graduated from a nearby North Shore High School were outraged, saying it's a high contrast from the rosy image of the businessman they knew before. The school website boasts of the founding father as an accomplished businessman who served with the Union Army. The teens exchanged texts and the outrage became this petition with a simple short-term goal. We hope to see the name of Joseph Sears School change. And long term. We want to educate students about who he was and how this community was built in a racist way. Which means incorporating the good, the bad, and the ugly of Chicago area history into the curriculum. The biggest thing is people say, well, we shouldn't erase history. This is not about erasing history. This is actually about educating people on history. The petition has garnered thousands of signatures, and while it's a start, they say the signatures remain just that until there's tangible change. I think trying to fight racism with our, within our country is an effort on all of us. We all kind of have to do our part. In Kenilworth, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. Both students tell us the school board seems receptive, but no action has been taken yet. Our calls and emails to both the village president and the school board have not been returned.